Hi, this is Nitin Pegwal, graduate student in Management Information System. This is my first data analytical video on decision tree using Weka. In this video, I will be first explaining the pre-processing step using imputing of missing value. Secondly, I will be creating a decision tree using J48 algorithm. And lastly, I will be predicting the values for target variable using test dataset and data model created. So go to Weka and choose Explorer tab and open your training data set. Here I am using a word data set which have total 17 attributes. These attributes are categorical in nature, no and yes. But this data set also have missing values. In order to remove this in missing values, we have to go to filter, unsupervised attribute and replace missing values. As you can see, currently I have 6 as missing value in immigration, 20 in, in mixed missiles and so on. As soon as I click apply, those missing values have been replaced with yes or no. Now go to classify tab and choose J48 algorithm to create your decision tree. Here I am taking as 70 as my percentage split criteria. 70 means the training data set will be 70 and test data set will be 30. But before that we will check the different parameters of J48 algorithm. Like confidence factor which controls the amount of pruning. Lesser the value, greater will be the pruning. Then min num opt. This indicates the minimum number of instance per leaf. And lastly, we have the unpruned parameter. If it is true, then there will be no pruning. As of now, we will keep it as default and then click start. Here, a tree has been generated. And then, this, this is our number of leaves. And 11 are the number of nodes as the size of the tree. 96%, 96 is the uh, our accuracy. If you see the confusion matrix, 78 and 39 are the correct values which have been predicted. 1 and 3 are incorrect values. One number of Democrat has been incorrectly identified as Republican. And three values of Republican have been correct, incorrectly identified as Democrat. If you click on the visualize tree, then you will be able to find your tree has been created. Now I need to predict the values for the test data set. For that, I will be using, I will be creating a new tree which is using the whole training set. Click start and now you can see the accuracy has been increased. Now I save this model and I'll be uploading this model afterwards. This is my test data set. If I double click on it, I'll find the values, the last column values as missing. Here question mark represent the missing values. These missing values can either be Democrat or Republican. So I need to predict this value for this test data set. So I go to Wake Explorer and click Explorer button. I can't go to classify button so I have to upload some random data. So I go to I have to load my data model. I just create it and apply on the test data set. Go to more option and then select output pr predictions. Right click on reevaluate model and then you will see the data has been predicted. The class variable here have Republic or Democrat as the predicted value. So this is how we can predict the target, vari target variable value using the decision tree.
Thank you so much.